What's up guys gang? Today I am going to be showing y'all part one of Baby Thrones Drip today and also I'm going to be giving y'all a little update on my pregnancy and how I've been doing and everything. Okay, so today I turned 25 weeks exactly today. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get into this video. Once I get his bag and everything, I will go ahead and get back to y'all all right all right what's up i'm back with baby thrones hospital bag slash diaper bag yes again i will say it again hospital bag slash diaper bag all right so i'm gonna go ahead and start y'all off with showing y'all the bag itself and where i got it from so here we go so this is his hospital slash diaper bag it is tommy hill figure official tommy hill figure i don't see how you could fake tommy hill figure but nowadays you can fake anything baby anything literally so all right i got this from ross i got it on a reduced price for 16 dollars. yes girl say it again fam i say it again gang 16 dollars. normally these bags run for a good 128 maybe more than that so i'm gonna go ahead and get into it all right, I'm going to go ahead and get into this bag for y'all, show y'all what his drip is. So, go ahead and open up the bag. And the first thing that you see, what well, I see, that y'all will see in this bag is his little oversized security blanket with an animal on it. So, it's a cute baby elephant, which I think. <laughs> so, I like it. I love the color. This is like my signature like my go-to color my favorite color i love it so and if y'all don't know what this color is i like to call this color mint green some others like to call it pistachio either way it worked it worked it worked okay so i actually got this from target um i don't remember how much i got this for let's see do it say the price on the back no yeah i think i got this for like maybe 12 or 13 bucks so but this yes i got for him i love animals my niece has one it like has a whole collection of these so but it's not an oversized security blanket all right the next thing i'm gonna show y'all is this one this is not an oversized security blanket it's just like a little mini like little size security blanket i'll show y'all the whole thing all right that's the inside all right that's the outside and this is animal this i also got from target but the brand is carter's so i don't know if y'all can see that but the brand is carter's all right all right the next thing i'm gonna show y'all is this little bag i got from dollar general you can get it at any local dollar general especially if you stay in the 757 you can get it at any dollar general again dollar general never can go wrong i actually got this for eight bucks I was looking at the same one somewhere else. I can't really remember off the top of my head where I was looking at the same one. But I think I was going to get this for like $15. And I was like, I'm going to just see. I know I've seen them at Dollar General. I'm going to see which one cheaper. So I just wait. But it comes with a wet wipe case, a pacifier, and a cover. And it also comes with two bottles, this one and this one. And then it comes with a brush, a comb, and a spoon. The spoon is inside this big bottle, actually. The bottle says Brave Little One. So, and then it comes with a duck. And then it comes with this this um thing you clean the bottles out with. I really can't remember the name off the top of my head. So, if I'm over deaf, it works. Alright, the next thing I'm going to be showing y'all is his clothes and stuff. So, don't judge me, y'all. Like, it's my very first official YouTube video. So I'm really trying to get into this, get the feel of it and everything. So next is his low Jordan booties. I got this from Ross. I actually got this on a sale of six bucks. Y'all probably can't see that. Six bucks. Alright. And then I got this for him. This is actually gonna be for his sleeper. Like I feel like he can really put this with any outfit. For real, for real because of the color but i feel like it will vibe more and go more with his sleeper that i have for him which i actually will be showing all that too but this i got from ross as well 
So majority of his clothes I got from Rose. Okay, I'm gonna just let that be known. I got from Rose. The next is his low Nike outfit. Y'all, y'all see that? His little Nike outfit. This one says just do it. Um this one, I'm turning around for y'all. This one has just the Nike sign. And this one just says Nike. Can't go wrong with it. I try to keep all his stuff together and put it in the bag as much as I can. The next outfit is this. Um, this is Lil Do Big Heart. And then this one is just a striped onesie. Just a plain striped onesie. Probably gonna get a custom made or something. And then this is a little tuxedo for him. This is zero to three months. The one I showed y'all is newborn. The Nike suit I showed y'all was um is newborn. So I try not to get him a lot of newborn stuff because I know you know babies they grow. They grow quick. So I try to get like as much as his drip in like three to six months, zero to three months. So and this is the sleeper I was telling y'all about. Like with me, to be honest, baby, let's go together. This goes together, baby. Let's go together. I wouldn't recommend putting his Jordan booties with this. I mean, it has, like, stuff at the bottom, like, booties at the bottom. All the footies say, just do it. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Let me open that more for y'all. Y'all see that? Just do it. So, this is his sleeper. This is something I feel like, you know, he can sleep in, wear the house in. If I'm going for a quick run, he got this on. So, next. I was showing y'all. Let's see what else. His Puma fit. Okay, now his Puma fit, y'all. Alright, so this is his Puma fit. You see, he had the Puma sign on this one. And then on this one, I'm turning around because anyway, I don't like the way that they really be putting their clothes up here. Like they just be slapping it up. Here. This is Puma. This ain't Puma, of course. Oh, it's Puma. This one is just splashed out, dripped out. This is the Puma symbol again. Like I say, like I said, I don't mix and match my brands, so the Nike booties wouldn't. I would recommend won't go with this unless you got the hat on. Say Nike, Nike, and then Puma because it's the public. But this is also Puma, and like I said. I already showed y'all this one, which is the one with this one. So, I believe that's all for his drip. Oh, this thing came off the hanger. This one just came off the hanger, boo. So, I believe that's all of his drip. I don't think I missed anything at all, which I didn't. So, that's all of his drip. Plus his bag. So, you know, I had to have my son dripped up, drip out from head to toe and everything so that's all for his drip part one i will most definitely will be doing a part two my home girl shout out to her she gave me a whole lot of baby clothes from like newborn to three months to zero to three months to three to six so shout out to her plus the diapers Yes, the full box of diapers plus. So, I won't be saying her name in this video, but if you know who you are, you will be watching this video. Shout out to you, girl. Shout out to you. You really, you really helped me out. So, but anyway, on to my update with Baby Throne. Hmm, Baby Throne. Is that his name? Unfortunately, that is not his name. That's the nickname I gave him personally because, like, I was calling him Bean when I first found out I was pregnant, but now I was like, it's time to switch it up. Now I know what you are. Now I can give you a name. And Baby Throne was the first thing that came to my mind. I was going to call him like Baby King or Baby Savage or Baby Drip, but for one, all of those is taken for two. Everybody uses those names for three. My baby not just everybody out here. I wanted something unique, you know what I'm saying? Now, does he have a name? The answer is no. Unfortunately, right now, he still doesn't have a name. Um, like, his dad and I are actually 
like thinking of a name it's more of his dad like i'm gonna let his dad actually name him because his dad be coming up with some real unique names like names i did never even heard of anybody named a child just like it's like what because name i did have for him i was like no i feel like that's that's common, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I know two people. Like, not really know them, but like through YouTube and stuff, I know them with that name. So it's just like, no, I don't want him named it. So I'm not gonna name him that. So yeah, that's update on him. I am, yeah, like I said, I'm 25 weeks today. So this is what I look like. So y'all probably can't see. This is what I look like with him. He's not even moving y'all. Like, he was moving so much last night. You, so much last night. But let's see. Um, it say it, he is, let's see. I don't know. I use like two, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I use two pregnancy apps because one tell me what he's the size of and the other one, it just like give me details and I don't believe it tell me what size he is. But like as you can see right here, it says he's the size of an eggplant. Like you can't even see it. Let's try to break this down real. Yeah, it says he's the size of an eggplant. So that's my baby. We like I said, 25 weeks today. Um, if y'all wanna know what app that is, it's called what to expect those of you who already know what that app is they don't need for let me to tell y'all now do i have a registry for him yes i started a registry for him like three days ago and i already have like two three things up there for him and like one thing for me or maybe two things for me when it comes on the breastfeeding yes i am going to be breastfeeding baby throne so um i don't want to bottle feed him only because i feel like breastfeeding in my opinion is more like a connection with you and your baby and i really want to have a close connection with my son and with him being my first child i most definitely want to have that connection so i do want to breastfeed with him now do i want to do a c-section or want, do i want to go natural i personally want to go natural but i do want to have the epidural i am going to get the epidural would this be my first child i don't want to know what having a baby naturally without an epidural feels like because the hair is very very painful but it all depends on your pain tolerance how much pain you could take but also i hear it's like nearly not as the pain as you would feel like any like a belly button here so getting a tattoo so um yes most definitely i do want him natural but also, it depends on how many centimeters I dilate because it is a certain type of centimeters that hospitals um, have you, expect you to dilate in order to have your baby naturally. So hopefully I do get to that dilated centimeter to where they're like, hey, you can have your baby naturally. We don't have to do a C-section on you or anything like that. So stuff like that now i had my last appointment with him i heard his heartbeat i didn't get to see him sad so anyway my next appointment i have to get my glucose test done so i might be doing a vlog that day also i might be doing a vlog on father's day for his father i am getting his father something for father's day and everything his dad got me something for mother's day those of you who are expecting your first child or already have kids and expect another y'all already know especially the ones that having their first child they're pregnant with their first child we count we count personally others feel like they feel like personally they're like well y'all don't count because y'all cannot hear yet i count i'm gonna count regardless he and me he growing in me he count i'm getting stuff for him he count i'm a mom i'm a mom i'm a, I'm a mom so, and not only that, but his dad is a dad. So, we both better have our first child together, you know what I'm saying? So, that, so a lot of stuff counts for us. And it's like a lot of stuff I'm educated about. And it's like others, I'm like, I need more information on. Like, I, on my registries and everything, like my, his registry and stuff, I must definitely do my research before I put it up there. Because I don't want to put it up there and not know what 
the reviews are, what I'm getting into, what I'm buying, stuff like that. So most definitely, I do my reviews. All right, I'm about to go ahead and do my outro for this video. I'm about to go ahead and end it right here. You already know. But yeah, I was talking about my wig when I had a call that came in. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. I hope y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Do those three things for me. Please, 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 of course, because, you know, I'm going to need some advice. Like, girl, you had some flaws here. You did good here. You need to work on this. You need to work on that. So please don't be afraid to leave comments down below in the comment section. Also, I'll be putting my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snap in the description link down below as well i did do a wig review on a blonde wig so if you do want to see that also let me know in the comment section below i'll get the edit and post it up to y'all as well so today is thursday i'm gonna try to have this video edited tonight for y'all hopefully i'm gonna try to get it done like right after so but i'm gonna try to get this out and done for y'all so that way it's posted by next week so I don't be anxious to post it, but like, yeah. So I hope y'all really, like I said, enjoyed this video on looking at Baby Throne's drip, what he has so far. Like I said, he has a whole lot more stuff. Um, my homegirl did give me stuff, like I said. So and that's gonna be part two. So if y'all want me to do like more vlogs, like not more vlogs, but if y'all want me to do vlogs, if y'all want me to do like baby showers and stuff like that, so my baby shower, most definitely let me know in the comment section below. And now I have those videos. I don't know, that hair was like, I'm not going behind your ear, girl. I'm not going behind there. Fuck that. <laughs> forget that. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> I hope they don't bleep me out with that. So sorry, YouTube. But alright, I see y'all. And I see y'all. Like I said, comment, like, and subscribe.